Welcome to our YouTube channel for the Beautifully Woven Woman. If you have ever felt unease within you, if you have ever felt frustrated, fluttered, overwhelmed, and kind of in an element to where you beat yourself up, today's video is for you. I want you to consider a couple of things. Within the Beautifully Woven Woman, it is for you to know that you're woven in spite of the challenges. The challenges, the frustrations, the woes, all of the things can cause you to count yourself out or even question God. But for the sake of today, a supported and secure woman, it's, it's something that she is able to bounce back in. It's, it's something that she won't allow herself to um, be fluttered so much for a long period of time. It, I'm reminded of this song by Ty Tribbett that says, Only one night though, if you cry, make sure that you cry. But only one night though. And so this secure and assured woman, it, she allows herself to feel. She allows herself to cry out to God. She allows herself to express herself. She allows herself and express, let me express herself in a way that she is able to convey what it is that she is feeling in that moment in a mature way. Although she may be in need of a mending transaction, she is still able to articulate herself in a mature way. She's, she, so remember that, okay? Just because we know that we can express ourselves, yes, we want to be vulnerable. Yes, we are in those moments we are wanting to be raw and transparent, but we are doing so in a way that's not slandering anybody, that's not demeaning, that's not um, talking negative about anyone. And so we're going to express ourselves in a mature way, even if sometimes we can't find the right words. But this, this, you know, that only one night though, you, you allow yourself to have those moments, but you don't allow yourself to remain in those moments. This is how we can flourish beyond the facade as if nothing bothers you, as if everything sits well with you, as if life is just peaches and cream for you. This is how we can come out of the facade of if, oh, well, I'm, I'm a woman of faith, so some may think I'm a woman of faith, so I don't need to, you know, vocalize certain things. I, I just should be able to pray about it and that be it. We pray. We fast. And we seek counsel and we talk to the people within our circles. Okay. And, and, and we read the word. So how are you allowing yourself to be secure and supported? It's to allow yourself to recover from whatever it is that's causing you to feel un, an unsettling. Last night I was up um, and some things were on my mind. And I began to pray and I began to uh, read the word. And as I read the word, I went into Psalm 91 um, because I want to, you know, make sure that I continue to cover myself in prayer according to the word, right? And so Psalm 91 is a protection. When we're in the covenant, although when we're saved, we come into a covenant agreement. And in the covenant, we have protection. Okay, in the covenant, there is sobriety of mind. In the covenant, there is this inner assurance that we have because we know that we are on the Lord's side and God is on our side. And that in God being on our side, Jesus being for us, he is the one that's going to give us the support that we need. He is the one that's going to give us the assurance that we need. He is the one that's going to give us the reminders that we need in addition to the the earthly resources that he has made available to us. In a time of help, in a time of trouble, it is important for you to know that you have help. That you have supernatural help, first and foremost. And then that you don't have to suffer alone. 
but you are going to we we need to allow ourselves to cultivate teachable spirits so that the wise counsel that we're seeking not the ungodly counsel but the wise counsel those who we know that are going to hold us accountable to the word and the will of god how do you know wise counsel from ungodly counsel ungodly counsel will allow you to stay in your feelings ungodly counsel will allow you to stay in your comfort zones ungodly counsel will steer you away from the word of god ungodly counsel will not hold you to a highest standard ungodly counsel will will allow you to function in the capacity of you know you yourself and you what you want to do how you feel um it, it doesn't push you forward wise counsel challenges you wise counsel holds you accountable to the word of god wise counsel is going to pray the will of god concerning you wise counsel is going to um encourage you to seek and inquire of the lord wise counsel will give you scriptures and word and for you to go in and and refresh yourself and read it for yourself they will invite in the presence of god they will yes to ask you to speak your truth and then they will redirect you into your highest living into a higher perspective it may be uncomfortable for you. It may be a stretch for you. It might be, you know, something that you don't want to do. It takes you outside of yourself. Godly counsel, wise counsel, okay? And so we want to make sure that we are surrounding ourselves with those who will um, allow us to rely on the support that God gives us. The support that God gives it trumps the support that man can give man human support is good when they are aligned with the plans and the heart and the mind of the father so just just take a moment because in psalm 91 i covered myself but then i kept reading psalm 92 psalm 93 i think i got all the way up to like psalm 96 and in one of the psalms it was David saying how the evildoers and the wicked ones and wickedness and evildoers were, you know, going, coming after him. But it was God who supported him. When he had come to the end of his rope, when he had come to his wits end, when he felt like his feet were slipping, he cried out to the Lord and the Lord became his help. And so I want to remind you today that first and foremost, we need to cry out to God. We don't want to allow man, a woman, to be the first person that we run to for help. We always want to cry out to God and invite God's support in. We always want to invite God's help in and then allow ourselves to go to the wise counsel. Nobody else should be first place in your life but the Lord. Nobody else should be first place to get wise counsel from but first and foremost the wonderful counselor himself. How can you get counsel from the Lord? You open up his word. You will find help and strength through his word. If you are in the overwhelm, in the in the frustration, in the weariness, in, in the disgruntledness, in the countenance and disposition of yourself changing, if you're feeling a little unease, I would suggest for you to open up a Psalms. Because the book of Psalms is all uh, uh, really about how David and the psalmist struggled, how they encountered challenges and frustration and irritation and hurt and weariness and, and opposition. But then they called out and praised the living God and reframed their, their selves to remember and rely upon the power, the support, the assurance that God gives because God never lost a battle. And he never will. And so allow the security and the assurance for your womanhood to know that God never loses a battle and that he is in the fire with you. He is in the circumstance with you. He is right there wanting you to cry out to him so that he can come in and console you. The Psalms, I forget which one it was, but the psalmist said that uh, the consolation, the, the Lord's consolation bought David joy. It's the consolation of, of God, of the Savior, of his presence, of his help that assures us and can bring us joy even in the midst of the challenge. Because again, if God be for us, who can be against us? Who can stand against us? 
If God be for us and he is the stronger man, let that be the assurance that you need. And so I, I just want to encourage you as we end this to realize that the Lord loves you, that the Lord cares for you, that his eye is upon you, that nothing that you go through is too small or too heavy or too big for him. That no prayer or cry that you need to cry is too faint or too loud for him. That there is nothing that he is not able to console you in. There is no emotion that's too weighty, too heavy, too dark, too depressing, too overwhelming for you to invite in the assurance that you need in that moment that you will get through it. That God is for you. And so if we could just recap, because I know I was just talking in this video. I didn't give a one, two, and three. I was just talking. But if we can recap the, the beautifully woven woman, the woman who is choosing to allow herself to flourish beyond facade, that is choosing to allow herself to, to come into her most fulfilled state, to get a, the most fulfilled state is to experience a brand new you from the inside out. A brand new you and how you navigate challenges and how you allow yourself to, to be prolonged in the delay, in the disruption, in the discouragement, in the friction. And to know that it's only one night though, you got a time period that you're going to allow yourself to get it out. And then you're going to reposition yourself in the word of God in wise counsel, and in being supported and assured that God is for you. Play this back. Pat yourself on the back. But choose to love yourself enough to love God back. His hand is extended out to you. His word is available for you to open up your Bible. It's provided for you in apps now, okay? Bible reading plans. Have that time for, for yourself to be reassured and allow your womanhood to be solid and secure from the inside out, knowing that you don't have to throw in the towel. You don't have to have sleepless nights. You don't have to be consumed by the issues and concerns of your heart. You want to get it out. The Bible says, cast your cares on the Lord because he cares for you. So instead of carrying, we're going to start casting. And we're not casting to whoever he wants to listen to us. We're not casting to our concerns to whoever strokes our ego. We're not casting our cares upon someone who wants to keep us in, you know, um, the, the bondage and not freedom. We, we don't want to cast our cares to the soothsayers who just want to tickle our ears and, and speak to what we want to hear. We want to, the Bible says, cast our cares on the Lord. Because his motives are pure, his love is unwavering, his might is unending, he cares for you. He cares for you. And so are you going to be a woman who loves yourself enough to see the need and the necessity to love God back fully, fully love God back? In fully loving God back, you encounter the fullness of what you were created for. How your conditioning of your core was designed to have ease, support, and assurance. Until next time, visit all of the links in the description box below. There are packages and pro programs designed to help you encounter more and more of yourself in your most fulfilled state in faith, in womanhood, and in life navigation, despite the challenges.